the Ryman Novices Chase is next. This is a three mile one for long novice. And the tiny horses at the top for Joshua Southern going for a four timer. Clerics Cloak, Leon Van Rensburg, Cleveland Leon Van Rensburg, and Moons of Jupiter or Craig Beckley. So only four in this. Uh, three of them have got some pretty hot looking form though. And away they go, which means the sensible money will be on Moons of Jupiter to win it by about six lengths. So they're racing down away, then, away from the stand. And they've got a pretty long one to the first. As they go. That's the big screen. 20 fences to take in this. And the tiny horse for a four time on the outside of Moons of Jupiter in second. And then Cleric's Cloak and Cleveland just at the back. So they get to the first end. And the tiny horse gets over in the lead. On the other three were virtually in a line. The rain is. Still coming down as they get to the water. Mainly that much it'll be overflowing. And the tiny horse is a good four or five lengths clear. Well, Moons of Jupiter second. As they take this ditch. And then Cleveland and then clear it cloak. To the fourth and that leader jumped that one really well. Got away from it nicely. A comfortable lead. Moons of Jupiter second. Cleric's cloak and then Cleveland. As they get to the ditch. And Moons of Jupiter is a bit slow. Tiny horse. Was over it. With a very clear lead. Now racing downhill now to this next one. And Moons of Jupiter was nearly gone then, so too was Cleveland. And we were nearly down to a match race as they raced downhill. And I would suggest at the moment the biggest danger to Tiny Horse is boredom. In out there on his own as he gets to the seventh, he's jumping really well. I'm going over that one nicely. He's already six lengths clear at least. And they've still got the best part of two miles, more, slightly more than two miles to go. As they go, Cleveland is the one that's really struggling out the back. He's about as far behind Moons of Jupiter as the tiny horse is in front of Cleric's Cloak. As they come down towards the next, the tiny horse in the lead. Six lengths to Cleric's Cloak and Moons of Jupiter together. And then Cleveland is about five lengths adrift at the back, just catching up a little bit. Cleveland. This will be the last next time round. Hopefully, all four of them will still be there. And they're going to walk past the stand then now. And swing out left handed one more circuit of Pressbury Park. And the tiny horse leads by six lengths or so. To Cleric's Cloak second, the Moons of Jupiter third, and Cleveland is in fourth. So if you have that one, uh, making their way towards the water now, which we all know they'll all safely be over. If it's ever fallen out of the water, in an SO6 or 7 race ever, as they get over that. So if we go with that one, and now the complexion of the race just begin to change a little bit as Moons of Jupiter has been driven up to join the tiny horse. They come into this ditch. They both took that really well. The Leon van Rensburg pair are now six lengths of, uh, away from the leading two. And they come into this 14th with another plain one. And the tiny horse is jumping so well, he's making a length at every fence, and suddenly he's five clear again. How much energy did Moons of Jupiter take up when being driven on the flat to join the tiny horse. Looks like he's trying to do it again as they come into this ditch. Uh, again, the tiny horse jumped it really well. Moons of Jupiter over in second. Clerics Cloak in third and Cleveland in fourth. The field is definitely closer together now as they go to the 16th. With the tiny horse still in the lead. 
Still bowling along nicely in front racing downhill then. Towards the final four fences. And the tiny horse. Stood off that one but got over it nicely. Into Jupiter second, Cleric Cloak third. Cleveland is as close as he's been all the way throughout the race now in fourth. And still making progress. It looks like we could end up with a bit of a race on our hands here. As they come to the third lap, the tiny horse got over it nicely in the limb, but he's beginning to get lowly in front and he's now joined by Cleveland. And suddenly he says on the tiny horse, car, we're going to have to go and race now. And Cleveland sweeps by and Cleveland sweeps into the lead pretty easily. And Cleveland is now about a length and a half up and suddenly the tiny horse is battling and being driven along and under the whip. But a big gap back to third, clear its cloak and then moons of Jupiter. But they've still got two to jump and two and a half furlongs to go. And Cleveland, who you wouldn't have put a penny of somebody else's money on about a circuit ago pops over the second last with a full length lead and is suddenly pulling away so coming down towards this final fence it looks like Cleveland has just got to jump it really stood off it a good jump by the tiny horse and the tiny horse is starting to get going Cleric's cloak is starting to close as well there's still a furlong to go and Cleveland's in the lead the tiny horse is second Cleric's cloak is in third that should be the way they finish but Cleveland is hanging on and he's going to take it up towards the line Cleveland wins it the tiny horse is second Cleric's cloak is third and then Moons of Jupiter fourth. So, a bit of a surprise in the fact that Cleveland looked the first horse beaten with about two miles to go. He was right out the back. And the tiny horse just got a bit fed up by himself. But Cleveland took it. And that's another one for Leon van Rensburg. The tiny horse for Joshua Sutherland was second. Cleric's cloak for Leon van Rensburg third. And Moons of Jupiter for Craig Beckwith was fourth.